Hello YouTube and welcome to Channel AQ. In today's video, we are going to replace the battery on a Samsung laptop, model 370R4E. It has an Intel Core i3 processor with 4 gigabits of RAM. This is the first time that the battery on this laptop is going to be replaced. Let's quickly check the battery report. To do this, open the command prompt window and then type the command that is given in the description below. This will give you the path to an HTML file which can be opened on the browser. The battery report will show the basic details of the laptop and also the current battery status. You can see here that the battery is original from Samsung and has registered close to 920 charge cycles. We can see here that the battery shows 100% charge. However, when I remove the charging cable, the laptop instantly dies. I did check the drivers and the BIOS settings to ensure that this was not a software related issue and then turn to the last option of the battery replacement. Before we begin, please note that all electronic devices need to be handled with care. If you have no prior experience, please take the device to the service center. Proceed at your own risk. The battery in this laptop can be accessed by removing the rear shell. This can be done in three simple steps. Let's flip it over and then start with the first step of removing the easy access hatch cover. This hatch cover will give us access to the RAM and hard disk in case we need to upgrade it. There is a single screw holding down the cover. Once unscrewed, we need to slide the cover down and then lift it up. The second step would be to remove the hard disk. We need to remove the four screws that secure the hard disk in place. Once these are out, we need to disconnect the cable that connects the hard disk to the motherboard. Using a plastic pry tool, we can easily pop this out. Then, with the plastic lift tab, we can remove the hard disk out of the laptop. Moving on to the last step, we need to remove all the screws holding down the back panel. Once 
Once these are out, we can use a plastic pry piece and make our way into the laptop's rear shell. We need to gently apply some force on all the edges and then lift the back panel off. We now have access to all the components on the motherboard. The battery is quite big and it has been placed towards the lower side of the laptop for equal weight distribution. There are four screws that are holding down the battery. Let's get these out of the way first. Now, we can lift the battery out and disconnect it from the motherboard. I was able to get a replacement battery on the online market. I will leave a link for it in the description below. The battery arrived in good condition and was packed well. Let's connect the battery to the motherboard first and then we will secure it using the screws. Now, let's start with the process of reassembly. We first place the rear panel back in place and then the hard disk. We need to secure all the screws that hold it down and also connect the hard disk to the motherboard. Press fit the back panel by applying gentle pressure on all the edges. Once this is done, finally slide the hatch cover in place and secure it down with the screw. Let's try to check if the laptop is ready to start up without the charger. And it does. However, it took me to the BIOS screen as it could not identify the default boot device. A quick change in the BIOS settings helped it boot into Windows. This has been a successful replacement guys. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications on future videos. Thanks for all your support and see you guys in the next one.